morning guys how are you it is tuesday morning and i am a blonde again <laughs> anyway i know you haven't seen my face in a while just wanted to say hi today i am going to take a quick trip to long island and on the way back i am going to be um going to check out the Asian market in my neighborhood. So I guys will see you later. Hey guys, I am in Long Island. I am where my little neck uh, station. I have a weird, there we go. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the shadows and the light are going crazy. Anyway, I am waiting for the train to be able to go back to the city. And the train should be here momentarily. And then I'll be on my way to the Asian market. So stick around. I'll see you in a few. That's the train going the other way. Back into Long Island. I am at Little Neck. My train will be here in, oh, should be here right now. And I didn't show you this to you guys the last time. This is an Armenian um, society. It's like, I guess, a um, little hall or gathering place for them. So I thought that was kind of cool. I have some Armenian friends. And yeah, so my train should be here. Any minute, but this is a nice little train station. It's a beautiful, cool, cold day. And yeah, I am on my way back to Queens. And now it's getting crowded. It was so nice and peaceful here. So I can videotape and now the station is a filling up. But yeah, the train should be here any minute. And of course. Yep. So I will be back in a minute when this train comes, because now it's piling up. Alright guys, I just want to share that with you. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm in Queens. So this is the name of it. Pacific Supermarket. And we will see how crazy and crowded it is. Oh, this is the side. So yeah, here's the beginning of it. It's already crowded. It's not too late. 
but yeah, this is like a huge, huge place. I love this, I love, love, love this place. I don't come here nearly often enough. All right, so we will be back in a second. And then there's this really cool uh, bakery across the street that I love. So I will see you guys in a sec. All right, guys, for some reason, my phone just stopped recording for a second. Do not ask why. I probably hit the wrong button. Let's see what we got here. I'm looking for jelly jellies. I'm not going to get everything today, but yeah, these are all is it crispy. Let's see. Well, you know what? I'm going to get, um, yeah, I'm probably going to get the lucky candy. And maybe that's it for today. I don't know. See, I will be right back. I'm gonna look around and I will be right back. I love is they also have a whole big selection of plates and dishes and locks and this is where I get my huge um, packages of chopsticks, which I did not see them. But what is in here? Kind of cute. One ninety nine. Okay, the old chopsticks. It's kind of cute. I may get that. Oh, we got some whites. We got cat food for some reason. <laughs> and yeah, they got really pretty dishes in here. I've gotten little tiny little rice bowls here before. these before. Let's, see, let's get the recording one. Yeah, so they got a whole, they got really pretty teapots. Yeah, so let's see what else. Yeah, I've got these spoons here. Yeah, I'm not going to get a lot today, like I said. I don't have the funds to go crazy. So I'm going to get what I can. Yeah, they used to sell these big, like, gift boxes of snacks. Um, like they used to be right here. I do not see them. But at least I got my rat, and that's what I really came here for. So I will be back in two seconds to see what else I can find. Alrighty. Hey guys, I am back. So I was able to get what I wanted for now. The, uh, the, um, woman who was checking me out had asked me if I celebrate, uh, she's, she called it, like, Chinese New Year, um, you know, it's a Lunar New Year, because not only Chinese celebrate, but I guess she was Chinese, but anyway, um, she was, like, surprised because I had the rat, and I said, oh, yeah, I do celebrate, I said, you should see my house, so she found that very funny. Yeah, so I got what I wanted for now. I don't know if they ran out of stock of stuff or they're just like kind of restocking. But um, they had, there were certain things they didn't have, like this huge, um, really cold bag of like snacks that I usually get, but they didn't have it. Uh, maybe, like I said, hopefully they'll be restocking. And yeah, so that was the Asian market that I love. There are other ones, but this is my favorite um, in my neighborhood. It's a really great, um, you know, uh, I love my neighborhood because I'm going to be honest, especially like in this area, but like within, I'm going to say a good 20 block radius um, in Jackson Heights, Queens. I don't know if it's all of Queens in general or just in my neighborhood, but I heard that like 
literally over a thousand languages are spoken just in this area. I don't know if it's like Queens in general or like my neighborhood, but I'm going to be honest with you, it could just be my neighborhood because we have such a beautiful uh, diversity in my area. It is totally, totally amazing. Um, and it's great just to live here and hear all the different languages to just eat all different types of food. You have Thai, Vietnamese, Japanese, Chinese, Korean, Indian, Pakistani, just literally within a 10 block radius, like everything. Then you have tons of um, different types of food from Central America, South America. Honestly, there's not enough Puerto Rican Actually, there aren't any Puerto Rican restaurants, which uh, I do miss because I am half Puerto Rican. But I am exposed to just such a, a variety of languages and foods and people. And I personally, absolutely, look how pretty that is. I personally love it. And um, I am grateful to live in this area where it's just, it's just beautiful, you know? Um, just a variety of different folks and it's really a lot of fun to live here and it's close enough to Manhattan. Um, yeah, I always, I grew up here and I don't think I want to leave Jackson Heights, which is weird, but if I ever did, it wouldn't be too far. But yeah, so that is, we are at the end of our video today. I know it's not a great shot here. This block is kind of dull, but um, maybe I'll just, when I go home, I will just uh, cap off the video with what I officially bought. And then, like I said, probably by the end of the week, I am going to um, go back and see what else I could find because I do actually want to get more food. <clears throat> Excuse me, I want to um, make some, I want to cook some food, not just buy it because um, a couple years ago I started teaching myself how to make Thai food, which quite frankly is one of my favorite foods because um, I'm all about balance balance in my life, um, balance in my food, and Thai food to me is like the almost the perfect type of food, because you have, like in one dish you have sweet and salty and spicy and bitter, and it's just a wonderful, um, yeah, a wonderful culture, a wonderful type of food, so I was teaching myself how to make Thai food. And I want to make some Chinese dishes. And yeah, so I am now on 37th. And yeah, you see like even across the street we have, um, what is it? Um, uh, vegetarian places from Bangladesh, South Indian. Yeah, we have everything here. So that's why I love it. So. I will be back in a few minutes, and I want to show you why I, what I wound up buying for now. Okay, guys, see you in a sec. Hey, guys, I am back home with my beautiful baby boy. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm really, 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 really happy. Uh, they didn't have many left. And actually, I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday, and these are um, Valentine's um, decorations, but I'm using them for both. I'm using them for uh, Lunar New Year, because this kind of reminds me of like fireworks and then the beautiful hearts. So February, January, February is the month to me of just red, red, red everywhere. So I got my baby red, and I'm gonna decapitate him for a second. And he did come with his own candy, but I filled it all the way up to the brim with some more. 
stuffed. I got in that big bag. So I got my baby rat. I'm so happy. And I filled this beautiful uh, golden uh, bucket here um, that represents like gold pieces. Um, yeah, so it is overflowing with candy. And yeah, that's what I got. I got my little dumplings. I got the sauce. But that was it for today. I am going to go crazy another day. But, you know, we can only... But basically, I really wanted to get this guy because they didn't have a lot uh, left. So I am so happy I was able to get him. And yesterday I got... I went to the doll Tree and I got a whole bunch of... Um, uh, what was it called? Valentine's Day candies. I don't want to put it on film because... My husband does um, watch my videos, but I got some gift bags, I got some candies, I got some cute stuff and cards at the Dollar Tree for my husband, my son, and my mom. So that was cool. And I also found some crafty things, which is really awesome. So yeah, I got these are, what is this, the foam hearts. So I got a whole bunch of... Uh, yeah, nice things I can maybe use to crafty stuff with it, you know. And I got some felt hearts. Uh, same colors, pink. Uh, basically, it's, I think it's pink, white, and red. So I thought that was awesome. You get eight pieces for a dollar. I mean, that is amazing. And then, this is um, just for a decoration table scatter. But I actually may add this to a painting or do some kind of crafty project with it. You know, who knows? I actually want to get uh, into more craft stuff as well. I'm actually starting that in my paintings. I'm just adding extra little embellishments to it. Um, I actually saw also on the Primal Flow um, website, they do have a starter kit for resin art, which is kind of nice. It does not come with resin. Um, they do have a starter kit with resin, but honestly, with the resin, you might as well go get um, I think you're better off if you get resin straight um, from another company, but I believe they use the brand Art Resin with it, so I'm thinking of learning more about that because I actually really love uh, coasters and the resin jewelry. I don't really make jewelry, but um, I actually like the resin part of it, so... You know, maybe if someone wants to collab with me, you could do the actual chain parts. Um, I'll do the resin part. I don't know. But I was actually really thinking about getting more into doing some resin um, art. And I'm trying to choose some resin that does not have uh, high fumes. You know, stuff like that. So I don't have to buy masks and all that. But um, I do want to try. I, did ha I do have some resin. Um, but I just want to, you know, learn more about it. So that is that. My little Dollar Tree haul. Like I said, I want to keep the other stuff, um, a secret so my husband doesn't see what I got. And I just wanted to get ahead and show you guys in my next video what I'm thinking of doing. And then we'll call it a day. So I wanted to try the Primal Flow with um Floetrol. So I am in my next video, I am going to try that. And I'm just gonna use a little, a little, a little bit of Floetrol. And if um, some of you guys out there don't know what Floetrol is, it's a paint additive and it's usually used in um, like those painting machines, the sprayers, to make the uh, paint more fluid so it doesn't get stuck or clogged in the machine. And I usually keep my uh, Floetrol in this container. Um, I use it because A, it closes nicely, it has a little spout. And then I do strain it. So if you guys don't know anyone out there who is a beginner, you have to strain your flow troll because it could, it could be very chunky, little pieces of stuff um, in there. So you don't want that in your paintings. Yeah, so and I am actually thinking about doing an open cup in my next video. So I'm going to try the flow troll, do an open cup. And I wanted to try these... Um, the uh, pigment. This is pumpkin. So I thought that was pretty cool. The pumpkin mica. 
So I kind of like this kit because you do get stuff that you can, it can be used for resin art or you can actually add it to your paintings, which is awesome. And I just wanted to show you guys very quickly, we're going to end this video here, um, how these guys dried. Um, and this was the Montmartre with the Primal Flow. And honestly, besides this little, little bit of um, texture there, which again, I really don't mind, it actually worked very, very well together. Um, yeah, like no cracks or anything except for that little section. Um, it really dried beautifully. I love using these uh, shell pieces. I think it's just a beautiful addition. Uh, just to embellish it just a little bit, not to take away from the painting, but just to add a little something special to it. And then this guy. And this little guy dried beautifully as well. Um, I am going to like paint the back uh, by hand and do something cool with it. Maybe I'll do some gold uh, paint on the back. You know, I have no idea right now. But that's what I was thinking of doing. But for now, I just wanted to show you how it dried. And it really came out great. So the Montmartre does work very well with the Primal Flow, which I was hoping for that. And I kind of figured it would because the Montmartre actually is a really, really good paint. So I thought it would work well together. So that is it for today, guys. I just wanted to kind of update you on what's going on. I actually have... A couple of really cool things coming up. Um, Stacy, Nicole, and I from Artsy Farty Lovers, we did a collab. She actually finished it. Her video won't be up until Thursday. That's what she told me. And yeah, so, you know, look out for that when that happens. I am going to shout her out on my channel. I have something special planned for her because she did such a beautiful job on my um, shocker paintings. I cannot wait for you guys to see the full video. I can't wait to see the full video. So I am really excited about that. Um, and then I have another collab coming up soon, but we're figuring that out. And I have a lot of great ideas coming up. So that is it for today, guys. So look out for this next video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a wonderful day.